And so as well, much better performance from, from Sassley. Are you happy with, with how the game went today? Um, yeah, to a part, I'm never really happy when we draw a game. But um, yeah, certainly I think everyone probably felt it in the ground. I probably felt it from people watching as well. It was a little bit shaky from what happened on Saturday. And um, look, no, no one sees Saturday coming in terms of a performance that we put in. And um, you know, we had that little break. But before that, we'd won against Notts County here. Been fantastic. Probably our best performance of the season, in my opinion. Went away to Dagenham, where we were one of the fancy teams to try and get promoted and won there. Um, so Saturday was just a bad day, a horrible day. And I felt like the first half, we were pretty tentative in the way we felt. I think we was more thinking we don't want to concede and don't want to be behind rather than my message them at the second half was to try and get more on the front foot, trying to push them back and get defenders stepping in. And we certainly did it better in second half and we had some chances at the end to win it so look I take the I take the clean sheet I take the point but yeah I'm never going to stand in front of anyone and say I'm happy with a point but um, yeah clearly better than Saturday I said I know how important a clean sheet is for you so after Saturday that must be a positive that you and the fans can take this evening yeah well, I thought so um, but they um, they play they play fantastic football in the first half you know they really are expansive um, you know and other people coming here tonight might not have seen what they did on Saturday, but I did. I, my Sunday spent watching Solomon Moors and they scored four at Maidenhead and it could have been seven or eight. So I was well aware of the threats that they had, the people they had, the personnel, the chances they create, how they tried to play football. Um, so I sort of had to set us up to make sure that they didn't do that against us and grow into the game. And we did. So in the second half, we grew into it. And, um, you know, we've had the real standout chance of the game to try and win it. Um, They've had one cleared off the line from Hillier. It was a fantastic effort from the edge of the box. And um, the whole way as Wheelow stood the ball up to the back stick, he's arriving at Mags, I'm thinking goal. And um, yeah, it just hasn't gone in. But um, I think for the effort and the commitment, if they could have got that goal just at the end, I think they would have just about deserved it. But we have to be respectful to how well Solio and Moore played first half as well. Mm-hmm. I said in the second half did have some key chances. Uh, Hilly had a few chances that, and of course Mags header. Do you think that on another day, those got in and you'll be here with three points? Yeah, well, I don't think they would have come back from um, come back from that in terms of they've made lots of changes to try and sort of you know already be expansive. So I don't know what else they'd have done to try and get that goal back. But um, yeah, it's really it's really difficult in moments like that in the last ten fifteen minutes because um, if I'm, if I think if we'd have won on Saturday, I probably would have been chucking on attacking players and really really trying to go push to get the three points. But I was well aware of the feeling of me, the boys, everyone, how we felt after the game on Saturday, and I'm. Um, you know, I have to roll the dice, but it's not fair on players when they've worked as hard as they can to roll the dice and maybe it go against us. That's, that's not the way I do things. I'm happy with a point. Could have probably, you know, it's a good chance. It really is a good chance. But um, the, the clean sheet for Joe and the defensive unit, um, and I thought the defensive unit were much better in terms of not only without the ball, with the ball, stepped in. Mag stepped in loads more today, trying to get the wing back higher. Brawley stepped in second half. That made Vinny get... 10, 20, 15 yards further up the pitch. That's exactly how I want to do it. I don't want us to be back behind the ball and worried about what everyone else can do. I want us to step in and get onto the front foot. And they did it second half. You know, Solian Moles were brilliant first half, but they didn't play nowhere near as expansive second half. Um, and we was in the ascendancy, just that key moment. you hoping drops for us didn't quite happen tonight. In a, a moment, obviously, we're busy fixtures. And um, have you got any plans or hopes or aims, really, for this festive period with all the games coming up? Um, no, well, you know, to, to not win for a couple of games, um, you want to win the next one. But we've obviously got the FA Trophy on Saturday. Um, you know, got to be reliant on people to watch them for me because I haven't been able to see them. Um, and hope they give me the good information that I need on how they play. But um, the one thing I do know about them is that um, Folkestone are second, they're third. I know what Folkestone was like. They played each other last week. It was 3-2 to Folkestone, really tight game. Managed to watch the highlights of that. So, um if anything, you've got, to, you've got to learn from previous things. And um, although we haven't faced Enfield, we faced a team in a very similar position to them and we see how good they was. So um, be respectful towards them and respectful to the FA Trophy on Saturday. Um, and then we lead into that Christmas period where we go a couple of games against Weymouth and obviously Torquay as well. So, um, yeah, look, we'll be trying to get through in the FA Trophy and then we'll be trying, like we always do, to try and go and win a game of football in the, in the following game um, and the game after that. Tonight's a point, but like I said, I'm not really someone who settles for points. I want to try and win games of football, but um, had to be um, had to be understanding the situation from Saturday and understanding how everyone felt after Saturday. That um, hopefully leads into now a good period over Christmas. Because if we have a good period over Christmas, you know, we'll probably still be in a good position. Yeah.